Right, hi, little update for, well, if you're new here, my name's Seb, I'm 12 years old. <laughs> I look about 12 years old. Recently, for some still mysterious reason, I was selected to have the opportunity to buy a 2021 Ford GT. Obviously, I jumped at the opportunity, figuring out a way to make it work, but I've been kind of bringing the audience along with all the different steps of what it's like to configure a supercar like this. Something which is quite rare, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I wanted to really share it with everyone that watches this channel. Now, in the last episode, ow, <laughs> poke myself in the eye completely alone and yet they're gonna give me a car with that much power to deal with seems like a good idea in the last episode if we can call it that uh we went over the different options that were kind of uh, given to me by ford of allocations for the ford gt now there was several different ways of going about this you could select oh sorry i've got the wrong image in front of me you could select a custom series which is kind of the standard ford gt carbon series which as the name indicates has a lot of carbon heritage edition which is going to pop up on screen now which was actually my first choice which is a really cool looking um historic livery that they put on the car which arcs back to the history of the ford gt and the studio collection a very limited edition of the 4GT. So last time we went through the different options, you guys voted, we selected together, and my first choice was the Heritage Edition. Now, this last Friday, I got an email and I thought I'd film a little video really quickly for you to discuss what they've selected me for. Good news is I was selected for the Carbon Series. Bad news is I wasn't selected for the Heritage Edition, which I completely understand. I mean, I have no history with Ford. I'm 12 and a half years old. I have never owned a Ford and, you know, never owned a Ford GT. There's a lot of people I'm sure who have the previous generation. And even some who may have the old school race car. Those are the kind of people that probably presumably get the Heritage Edition. I, unsurprisingly, did not qualify for that. So, what I did qualify for is the Carbon Series. So you get this email here, Dear Mr. Delaney, Mr. Delaney, it's rare that we call me Mr. Delaney. The 4GT program team has some exciting news for you. You have been allocated a 2021 Carbon Series. We understand that it was not your primary selection. However, the demand for offering exceeds the production capacity. You have been added to the studio collection wait list. The concierge will not notify you if a production slot becomes available prior or during your ordering window. Your personal Ford GT concierge will contact you in December 2020 to May 2021 timeframe to begin the ordering process for your future Ford GT Carbon Series. So, that is that. Overall, I'm a huge fan of carbon fiber. The My Ferrari 430 Scuderia has every carbon fiber option. The Audi R8 has every carbon fiber option. So, this is a great thing. The only thing that worries me about it is in general, these carbon iterations of cars are really, really expensive. And obviously the car is already pretty expensive. So I guess I have the opportunity to go for the carbon series. I have no idea what the what the cost price, you know, the, the cost difference is gonna be. You know, if it's five to 10,000 pounds, which I can see behind the camera, Owen is shaking his head as if it, that will, how much do you think? Minimum 50. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's, yes. So you see, that is a lot. <laughs> Just gonna state the obvious here. So it all depends on the cost, to be completely open with you. If the cost is ludicrous, then I'll stick with a slightly more standard spec. If the cost is, I mean, it'll never be reasonable, but if it's something that um, I could afford, then I would go for it. So super exciting to have the opportunity to, to, to have that and the studio collection, which will be really rare. Again, no idea on the price difference. Just really, really cool to be on the waiting list for that. So obviously a huge, huge thank you to Ford for um, just like giving me the opportunity to be able to buy one of these cars. Not only one of the, you know, slightly more standard ones, but one of the rare ones. I really hope I can follow through uh, with that. And uh, no, I'm super excited about it. I just wanted to make a video to kind of like, discuss every step of the way uh, this experience so even if it's not the longest video in the world i wanted to share this as soon as the email comes in guys this is the allocation i got i'm super pumped like i think it'll be super cool now we just need to see what the next steps are um they say down here you know your waitlist eligibility is only valid through your ordering window and expires on your order freeze date what is the order freeze date the order freeze date is when the completed order confirmation and 50 percent deposit are due this date will be communicated to you by your concierge when it is available. That is going to be a scary day. Imagine that falls on your birthday, on Christmas. 50% or probably in Euros be around 700,000 Euros. So, 350,000 Euros. <laughs> 
If a studio collection build position does not become available during your ordering window, you will need to proceed with finalizing the carbon series. I love how it's like, you must finish with the carbon. <laughs> your spot on the wait list does not guarantee that you will receive an allocation. Okay. <laughs> so basically, it's like there's going to be a day on which you're going to bankrupt yourself. On that date, you may get a studio collection, you may not. If you don't, you get the carbon and you still bankrupt yourself, but you're getting a Ford GT, which is sick. And like, I am joking a lot about it. Obviously, it's something I'll only do if I feel comfortable with it and it's, you know, something that I can afford. Before I see all the comments being like, don't bankrupt yourself, do this, absolutely not. But I also don't want to be the guy who sat here being like, it's nothing, you know, it's a, it's a supercar, like, oh yeah, whatever, because that is not the case. This has a huge impact, but I'm a car guy, you know, I'm 23 years old and probably, you know, not going to have the opportunity to indulge as much in supercars in the future. You know, right now I'm living my life, single guy, young, perfect time to have a kind of ludicrous two-seater car like this. And, you know, fingers crossed, I'd love to be able to keep doing this for the rest of my life, but who knows? So I told myself, screw it, it's going to be motivation to work hard, I'm going to get this thing and we'll see what happens. And I will be eating breadcrumbs for about three years afterwards. <laughs> anyway, that's that. A uh, little update, just so I keep you guys in the loop. Um, thank you. It's always actually really nice to kind of like chat about these things and bring you along on this experience. And I hope you enjoy it as well. So I'll update you bit by bit if I get any news and I'll see you again very soon. If you aren't already subscribed to follow the next steps of this adventure, hit that button down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.